congratulations and thank you for opting in for this training program let's begin the ecg training program so before i start let me pay a gratitude to dr evs mebin who has been the inspiration behind this work and guide to this work dr evs mebin is the head of the department of general medicine aj institute of medical sciences mangalore karnataka thank you sir so with that let's move on when it, when you listen to the word ecg electrocardiogram what do you remember right so when you see your professors your teachers or a consultant in the wards looking at the patient's ecg for a minute he glances and looks into the wavy lines in the paper and as once he finished glancing the paper he gives you an interpretation what's the problem in the heart and doesn't that sound magical and the person who is doing the consultant the doctor or you would sound like a magician that's right and today we are going to turn you a magician who is going to read the wavy lines on a paper to give the diagnosis for a patients on the heart right to demystify this entire concept of ecg interpretation today let me take you through the journey so with that you could see that this is the primitive ecg machine how huge was that and when you compare to the current ecg machines which you see in the watts it's too huge and over the years we have developed ourselves to the modernization right so now coming to the primitive question which everyone every medicos every healthcare professional has is why ecg is so difficult to understand and read why is it the basic answer for this is our human body is a three dimensional structure and understanding a three dimensional structure on a two dimensional textbook or any books would becomes very difficult unless you have a third dimension of the knowledge for its application when it comes to heart again it's a part of our human body and it is also a three dimensional structure and becomes very difficult for you to interpret and understand from a book reading a book okay right so let me give you an understanding how we can understand this three dimensional concepts of an ecg or a heart or human body right for which let me show you that we need to have the third dimension which is virtually or with your memory is what's possible so let me you no know, pop up my heart into virtually so this is my heart placed here right so let me push my heart out of my body imaginatively and that's the heart here mine small here right so let me enlarge this heart to a bigger proportion so that you get a better view okay so this is the heart now in front of me okay so now when we have the entire heart in front of us which we virtually presented in space now we can see i can tell you that this is the anterior part of the heart this is the inferior part of the heart and this is the lateral part of the heart and this is the posterior part of the heart you got that right and now let's slice off on the heart and open the front part of it so then we can see an interventricular septum which goes like this right just to repeat the heart here popped out virtually and we have the anterior inferior posterior lateral and we slice open you get the interventricular septum that's it that's the three dimensional part of the heart so in all the dimensions you will be able to now imaginatively and visually see and understand as we go along because that becomes very important basic concepts of ecg interpretation with that let's move on to our next training